Hi guys, welcome back to day two of the boat build. Sorry for the wide angle lens, I left my phone on the roof of the car this morning and it's in the Gold Coast and I'm up in Brisbane, so we're gonna be using a bit of wide angle today. Plan for the day, on day two of the boat build, we are going to do all the internals, set up where the rods are gonna go, where the batteries and everything's gonna be stored, so all those pieces are gonna to have to be put in, and then maybe even start on a bit of a deck, so we'll just talk you through it as we go. Let's get started. First job is we have to remove all the screws that we put in here. Last time. It's all stiff after we put all the epoxy on the corners. It's made it really stiff, actually. Yeah, sorry, I've had to learn to talk to myself you know, right. over the last year. <laughs> <laughs> Might flip it because there's like the, oh, yeah. the all around the boat. Next step, we're gonna take down all the corners around the boat, clean it all up, make it all smooth. They'll go around all the corners and give them like a nice little, and the only reason we radius the corners is so that you get nice flow of your sheet. If it's a sharp corner, if you imagine when you brush all your poxies and stuff on, it'll stick to the side, it'll stick to the top, but nothing sits on the edge. So once all your screws are popped and you've cleaned up the sides, the next step is we're gonna round all the corners so the fiberglassing sticks to the, to the boat better. Thank you. We're going to use one of these bad boys. Frick him off, slap him off. And a battery? And a, yep, yeah, you probably need one of them. Yeah, cheers. Going to use this little tool here, little orbiter sander. Just going to round off all the corners just so the fiberglassing sticks down better when we go to epoxy it. <laughs> So I've rounded off all the corners on the hull, but that's all nice and neat and rounded off. Ready for the putty. So we're just gonna clean up all the insides of the boat, uh, get away all the excess that we had from the last job. Obviously I didn't do a very good job. So we're gonna, <laughs> gonna spend a while cleaning it up. So it looks pretty when it's all painted up with the resin on the inside. <laughs> Right, so we've just cleaned up all the edges as much as we think is necessary. Did that with a couple of different sanders, triangle sander for the corners, just to neaten it up a bit, all the epoxy filler. We've added in a few boxes up the front here. This would be tackle trays, life jackets, EPIRBs, whatever is required to keep this registered. And then some more tackle trays. This is the rod boxes, this, this long box here. So we've just drawn in, just drawn in some more dividers. So we're gonna put dividers so rods sit top and tail. So the rods will sit in these boxes. We're just gonna add the dividers in now. Yeah, after all that, I'm gonna run down and get some more wood and we're gonna we'll start working on all the rails for the hatches. Sweet. A lot of sanding this morning. So we just placed in the boards for the rod racks. So this is where the butts and the heads of the rods are going to, the bats of the rods are going to sit. And then the reels will sit in these compartments here, this one and this one. Uh, just notched out, we're going to be running the hatch rails around the uh, edges here. So I've just notched out 30 by 30 on those ones. And we've also notched out to fit in the rails down the bottom there and the coving. So 
there in sturdy also adds a bit of a bit of strength to the boat that's all done now we're going to lay all the rods in here i put all the rods today so now we're going to lay them all in the boat and mark out where they're all going to sit just start cutting some little rims so the rods can sit down a bit and then we'll work out how to make them protected a bit later for now we're just going to work out where they're all sitting right i'll show you how to notch them out once i put all the rods in So we're running a 35 mil hole saw and we're just drilling out where I've marked where the rod's gonna sit. And then we're gonna jigsaw down to them. So we've got one, two, three, four panels to do. And then we've got that side as well. So we'll just finish that up and then we'll show you when it's all complete. So we just moved inside out of the sun because it's a pretty hot day. And we've drilled all the holes and used a little hand saw just to cut cut down to where we drilled them. How far down did we drill? Uh, that'd be about 50 mil, I think, center of hole. So we drilled about 50 mil center hole down using a 35 mil drill bit. And then we just cut down to the hole just to create these little things. We're gonna leave these up so that the decking doesn't bow, the, what, the lid the hatch lid doesn't bow and we've got we just got one side of the rods in look at that how nice is that look probably put little foam inserts in all of them just to protect the rods and then little oki straps over the top of them just to hold them down when i'm traveling there we go pretty happy with that looks sick so we'll be able to take up to 11 rods sensational right so we're just cutting our lengths of wood this is for the hatch rails Yep. This is our hatch rails, so we're just cutting around, cutting a 10 by 20 mil groove into the rail using a table saw. So 10 by 20, and we're just doing four lengths, and then we're going to chuck it inside the boat. That's, that's, you're cutting into the wrong side. That's not real. That's the wrong way around, Tim. <laughs> That's a lot better that way. That, yeah, it seems to work. Yeah. <laughs> it's going to sit in there like that, then the deck's going to sit flush on top of that just to stop the water from getting in there. Oh, like a freaking glove. This is going to work, Jamie. Yeah. I have, I have a good feeling. <laughs> Right, we just knocked off for today. It doesn't look like we got a lot done, but we did, I think. We've epoxied in all the all the new rod holders. We just actually actually just two two per container. So that's all epoxied in. Uh, we epoxied in our boxes for the hatches. So just just a lot of intricate stuff today, just cutting out little little pieces so the these new hatches can go in. So that's all been epoxied in this afternoon. Camera went dead on there, so you won't won't see the last hour of just mucking around. So yeah, those things, uh, we've done the two rails. Bunnings were out of, Bunnings only had four, so we couldn't get them all done. So we've only done two rails. Uh, with the, so then you know, with the plans, the plans are gonna show um, just 19 by 19 all the way around uh, on every different box. And then you just glue and screw the, the deck straight to the 19 by 19. This is kind of something extra just because I'm gonna be doing a lot of fishing and filming on this boat so we've decided to make sure that i can store everything for road trips and just just making sure that i can get videos done on this thing without having things fall off the deck so everything will be in the deck so just in the plans it'll have 19 by 19 but if you want to do this just follow what we've been doing uh we've done 45 degree angles on these things um so it's completely completely recessed and sealed all the way through we did 20 mil by 10 mil 10 mil down, 20 mil in, um, and we'll be running 10 mil, 
taper on the bottom of the, the hatches. So we'll have a bit of play for open and shut on that. But we'll show you that when I start to build the build it all. But pretty close to be starting to put the deck on and then starting to waterproof the inside. So we're not too far away from all that. We'll probably just tidy up all the rough edges from today. And then we'll be all sweet. Did we do anything else today? Got just a lot of tidying up, really. Yeah, a lot of tidying up. Belt a lot of tidying, tidying up. Transom and tidied all the sides of the boat up. You yeah, beauty. Nice pretty. Next time we'll remove the, the little screws that we put in to hold the new ones in. But pretty happy with how she's coming up. Can't wait for day three of the build. Guys, welcome to day three of skiff building. So we're doing all the deck framing today, finishing off that on all the hatches. And then we're dropping the deck on the front and on the rear. On the bow and on the stern on the bow and on the stern. <laughs> Sorry, Jamie. <laughs> <laughs> on the bow and on the stern. And then we're also gonna see if we can run a, a fuel line for the for the big old fuel tank. So that's that's also on the to-do list today. And then I bought a new trailer. Don't know if you can see that, but it's going home today while Jamie goes away. And then you just have me to stuff up as many things as I can over the next next couple of weeks while Jamie's away. And then he'll get back and we can sand it all off when I've done. Start again. <laughs> Let's get into it. So first job on the agenda this morning is we're gonna put the front deck on. This is this section, this section, and this section. So it's gonna look like a weird U or V shape. So we've gotta make them all airtight. So we've gotta attach these things in here where we'll glue and screw them with stainless steel screws. So the screws will stay in and then we'll attach the deck in to these. So we're gonna, what's this, 42 by 19? Yep. So we're gonna be running 42 by 19 all the way around on all the edges, gluing and screwing them, and then attach the deck on top of that. So we're gonna do all the three boxes like this bad boy. That gave it a bit more strength in case I run into stuff. We've already measured and cut this piece. So we're gonna put same glue we've been using once I work out how to do the drill. Oh, right, here we go. We're good. We're good to go. Oh, here she comes. <gasps> So do both ends. And we're gonna place this bad boy in here, like so. And then pre-drill. And we're gonna grab this bad boy for pre-drill, one eighth drill bit. And we're gonna put three screws in the face. One. Pre-drill all your holes with a 1.8, and then we're running 8G 25mm stainless steel screws. Hold them in so we don't have to remove these screws later. So we go all the way through just past flush. Like, so you want to just make sure the heads are under? Yep. Yep. So this is the first one we've done one out of a possible 16. You want to drill in so they just pass flush and then we just putty over them and then sand them back. Oh man. Talk about skill. Second piece being fitted. Is that right? Just clamp him and you can, you'll still be able to push him around. And pre-drill. Oh man. Don't put the glue on the wrong side. Otherwise you will have to scrape it off and put it on the right side. There we go. Now it should fit in perfectly. Oh, put that end in first. So that's one completely done. Ready for the, after we sand her back and take the excess glue off the top when she's all dry, ready for the deck to go on. And the deck will just be one piece, hey? It'll just Yes, be. one piece. Yep. It'll, it'll cut. Beautiful, so that's one. Just screws, making sure they're a little bit recessed. On to the next one. So just completed the first one, all glued and screwed, stainless steel screws all recessed in. I'll putty those holes up later. So the front deck is completely done, ready for that top sheet to go on. After we sand back all the excess glue that I made a mess of, 
There it is there, ready to go. So we've just finished all of the deck rails ready. for the deck, deck railing. We've done it on this box. This one should be right because it's already got a bit of a lip. This is just extra glue and extra surface area to attach glue, glue for the um, for the decking. Oh, I'm just put my fingers in the glue. Great, genius. Did we, oh crap. So we've done one, two, three boxes and then we've also finished up the front here for that section. So once this deck starts going on, she's gonna look pretty sweet. We've just got to work out a system. We're going to try and keep the fuel line and the transducer line for a sounder underneath the decking so I'm, so I'm not standing on it. So we've just got to try and work out what we're going to do there. So we're just going to play around with that for the next 15, 20 minutes, probably an hour and a half. Once that's done, we can chuck the decking on top. You can go through and just shave the excess off. But now the trick is, is never do this with one hand. You should always have one hand on the blade and one hand on the handle because yeah. then you can't accidentally do that and go like right through that finger and down to the bone sort of thing. Yeah, So has someone done that before? Yeah, would you he say? sort of has. So two hands on the chisel and always away from you, obviously. Yeah, go through and cut all the excess off. Right, eh? And I'll um, try and find some fittings and pop and reckon that's going to go away. So we're just taking off all the excess. All the excess. And then we'll sand it back. So we just cleaned up the outside edges of all the glue. We're just gonna sand it back and then we're gonna cut out, we're gonna measure and cut out the top sheet for the decking and put the front deck on. Pretty excited, it's starting to take some shape. And then we'll do the same with the back section, just waiting for the glue to, to dry and then we'll take that off with the chisel and then give her a sand. Gonna run some PVC pipe through for the transducer and, um, and fuel line and keep the name Pipe Dream Living Strong. One bit of pipe in it. <laughs> Just measure up and cut out this top section from a new sheet of uh, new sheet of nine mil ply. Let's get it done. So we just cut the board out. What we're gonna do is mix up some epoxy. First, we've got to clean all the insides out, vac it all out, clean it up. Then we've got to mix up some epoxy, paint the inside, paint the bottom of the board, and then paint the glue around those edges where we we've, we've just put them in those uh, the 42 by 19 paint that and then glue her down, then screw her down on top of that. But that's what she's gonna look like. Finished product, the deck on. Man, she's gonna look good. How nice is that gonna look? Measuring up and cutting the deck. To fit so, around all our transom, these are called knees, transom knees. Using a jigsaw, cutting it down. Throw him on. Beautiful. Looks like a giant. Right, so deck is fully trimmed. So we've got the front deck on, and we've got the back deck on. The rest of it's all gonna be boxes. So this is all the flotation we're gonna be using in this boat. On the plans, it will have complete flat through decking though. And if you wanna build these rod boxes, then just follow the half decent instructions and you should be sweet. What do you reckon there? Yep. Dunskies. All right, let's do it. <laughs> Is this all? Yeah. Beautiful. Done. That's it. Just taking off all the rough edges around the, around it, getting it ready to go on. That's the hole we just drilled for fuel line and transducer line. So we're gonna put PVC piping through that. We're just gonna modify that now and then, then we'll be ready to start painting the epoxy on, getting the decking on. Just put a couple of holes in here for our PVC piping, which we're just about to cut. This is gonna be where the fuel line runs through. Through here, through this one. Oop, up here and then we're going to put a little 90 degree elbow joint on this one straight up into the top section and that'll be all be sealed check that thing out on there like that so as we fit the top we're going to have to do some like wriggling and get everything in the right spot yeah 
but that's yeah that's easy cut a little a riser please once everything's the top's screwed on everything's in a spot we'll just trim that overhang off oh, okay so yeah it's not you know Just using the belt sander to clean her up, take off the top, get her all flush. Where the deck's gonna go is all cleaned and sanded back ready for the tops to go on. The next step is to put a full layer of epoxy in, in all the waterproof areas, just to make sure if something does get in there, it doesn't rot. So we're gonna waterproof all the insides of where the lids are gonna go on the back and the front. So it's the same process of, as making the joins, but without the powder. Five to one of part A or part B of marine epoxy. There we go. So we'll mix that up and then we paint all the insides, one full coat. Make sure you get all the way up and underneath. I'll put my chest cam on for while I'm doing it and give you a demo on how we're gonna paint them up. But it's pretty simple, just like, just like the Mona Lisa. Here we go. So mix it up, five to one. Five to one. Put her in, stir special, up. Special epoxy mixing stick. So make sure you wear gloves. You should have eye protection on as well, because if you get it in your eye, you're off the hospital. Just gonna use cheap brushes once you got your gloves on. Very simple, yeah. Here it's, we go. It's pretty much, you're just going straight over everything. Just that thick? Yep. Just making sure that if there's any little voids or anything that you get tons pumped into it, get runs, it doesn't matter. The biggest thing really is making sure you don't flick it in your eyes and if you do get it in your eyes it's quite seriously is a trip to the dock because it's very corrosive and it'll eat your eyeballs but this is the important bit getting up under here so make sure you wear eye protection a good coat underneath your rails like that yeah yeah because that's where you're going to get condensation and shit sitting up in under there and then like where you've got recessed screws and stuff like really make sure that you soak it into them into your end grains suck it up so make sure plenty goes on your end grains Otherwise, just painting, just painting on like anything else. So when you're painting, just a thin layer, no, a good helping layer. A healthy layer. A healthy layer, not a thin layer, a healthy layer. Any grooves you want to just, it's hard to see, but any grooves, you just want to make sure you get the epoxy right in there, fill them up. Make sure you get underneath all the edges. Here's one I've already done. No. <laughs> get underneath all the edges. Fill all the grooves. Good health layer. Oh, that's fine. Next one. Paint the underside. Yeah, that's it. Give it a quick brush. So. Nah, straight on. I'm, I'm out. Yeah, there you go. Thank you. So the idea is you get this painted on, and then um, you want it to sort of start getting sticky. Yeah. Right, eh? And then I'll do a glue brew, and then basically butter glue on all the surfaces, and then press it down and screw her off, get your spatula and get all the excess glue and fill any voids, like, like we have done. So paint your underside of your board. This is the first deck we'll be putting on the front section. And we want to wait till it gets a bit sticky. And then we're going to press it down, oh, put all the glue around the edges, then press it down and screw her off. And then fill any excess holes with with this stuff or with, the with the glue with the glue so we'll fill any holes with the glue
nice healthy thick coat on the underside. This is the back section that we've trimmed out. So all we're doing is making sure we're buttering plenty on. Yeah. Straight along. Probably Just keeping it a bit away from the front? Yeah, well it doesn't um, really matter. It can go right to the front. Oh yeah. Because we'll go along and after it's belt sanded we'll do a filler load as well. Yeah. But that'll be later when we're glassing all this I've probably gone a bit too thick here. Because so, this should be enough to do the whole front. A little bit of dust. Yeah, no worries. Good at the blowjobs. <laughs> He's had a bit of practice. I've been around, mate. <laughs> Just now, in the lungs, now I've got cancer. <laughs> it's alright, mate. I'll have a tablet to fix it soon. <laughs> Hopefully. Because I've been in the sun a fair bit. Oh, yeah, that's why I've, I've had some chemicals through me. <laughs> been on job sites for this long. You sort of hope. Yeah, Go on, boys. Here. Come on, guys. Get on to that. Yeah. <laughs> So this is the same sort of glue as we did all the corners with, yep. the epoxy with the plastic beads, thin plastic beads. Yep. And we're just buttering it on everywhere, all the surfaces that we put down for the lid to go on. This is the, this is the type of... She's definitely a bit dry, but... That's alright. Once the lid goes on, we get wet epoxy too, it'll sort of help it all out. And the idea is you want to see enough on there that it's oozing out. And that means you've got yeah. good, good coverage, no leaks. Two. Is that it? Two. That's it. That's it, guys. So just butter it down. And we made that glue a bit thick, so we're actually going to just run, get into this. But we're going to put the lid straight on. And then stainless steel screws. Yep. Do we have to remember where everything goes? <laughs> mm, not oh. really. Right now, best bet now is to change gloves so we don't end up with epoxy all through cordless drills that are expensive. Righto. Change gloves, put them in the On rubbish the bin. <laughs> <laughs> so we're just going to pre-drill holes with that 1 8 that we were using before. When I got my glove on. Screws on your side somewhere? Yeah, I think they're over here. Grab your stainless steel screws because these screws aren't coming back out. Tack in both sides so she's not coming out. Probably could have done this without gloves because it makes it a yeah, bit. Yeah, well, you, you probably can. You can kick them off if you want. Oh, it's alright, they're on now. Just my screws keep getting caught up in the. Oh, yeah, that's annoying, eh? <laughs> That's what happens. Right, we're on to the back section. Front section done. Same process. All the surface area that's going to be taking the board. These little blocks in here that we put in. Working quickly.
front and back done. Pipe is through. I, gee, I used that up, didn't I? It's leaking out. That's good. I did a good job on that. Yeah. Now we're just gluing this one in, our snorkel, our uh, tube. Put a bit of extra. So we've got glue down and then we also need to PVC glue it to the PVC part. Should have really done that before. Yeah, I think you already cleaned it though, didn't you? Yeah, I did too. I did the whole thing, didn't I? Yeah. yeah I totally prepared it earlier. Yeah, exactly. On purpose. Don't, <laughs> don't beat yourself up. <laughs> we clean because we cleaned all the pipe earlier, because I was worried about the dirt. We're all good. <laughs> <laughs> we're all good. I'm a princess. We're all good. Oh, it is. oh, that's a bit looser than I expected that to fit in to be. Oh. I should have been a nice tight squeeze, huh? The bloody Reese Industries letting us down. Reese Industries, hey? That's okay. They won't be getting a wrap. <laughs> <laughs> Righto, second piece in. Glued that on, we'll fix, tidy that up. That looks great. Now I'm thinking what else we could do with that PVC. <laughs> Piece. What else could we make more complicated? <laughs> Calm down. Calm <laughs> down. I'll keep tidying up my edges. Whatever you want. So before the glue dries, just I'm tidying up the edges here. It's meant to be oozing out, but there's a few spots that it's not. So I just take a bit from the sections that are oozing out, rub them in somewhere else. How's it looking now, Jamie? Oh. We just want to cram this in, fill all the gaps so we can just sand it flush at the end of it. Push it in all these sections. You want to try and cut. We're going to cove these back sections so it gives it a nice finish. Front and rear deck is now on. Uh, we're just running the, we're gonna continue to build the rails. So we're just about to run these through the saw. We've done four of them already, but we've got to do it on this one, this one, this one, and these three. We've got to cut all them up. We got we run 45 degree angle. We cut 20 mil across and then 10 mil down. And then we'll just join them all together. About to run it all through the table saw. Classic. Bunnings was out of wood. Classic Bunnings. Should have gotten a mitre 10. So we're going to, no, actually mitre 10 didn't have 30 by 30. Because no. I went in there the other day. So we're going to run it all off 160 by 30. So we're going to cut this just into. Chop it into 30 by 30s. Righto. Done. And once that's done, we'll do the same rimming, cut them all out, and we'll show you when it's all done. So we just cut out all our lengths out of that 160 by 30. So now they're all 30 by 30. So now we'll just run the saw. So we'll do our 20, 20 mil cut first. And then our 10 mil cut. That's a rip. You gotta work now. That looks better. That looks better. Yeah, that's that's more like what we're running. Right. And then all I've got to do is cut across then. 20 mil across. Yeah. So if I mil. feed everything through with that. And then we'll reset the saw again and do it all again. Righto. You want these to be flush. So I don't know if I showed you last time, but with these rails, just want to put a little bit on here. 
Oh, that's not a little bit. I think, I think it's out. Yeah, you're right. This isn't as easy as I thought. No. It takes a bit of jiggling and twist. Oh, oh, man. You you're off. That's deep. <laughs> Then they all stabbed through the oh Jesus. Oh, that hurt like a mother. You should have shown me how to use this right hand drill. Yeah. I'd fainted blood, so you do oh, it. Oh really? You do it all Jack. Jesus. Don't you <laughs> Look at that. Your... That's a flesh wound, mate. A flesh wound? Yeah. I nearly lost my finger, Jack. <laughs> Thanks, Mum. So we just finished up for the afternoon, batteries all went dead, so we're just gonna do a quick rundown of what we finished up. <laughs> We finally finished up all the, so all the hutch things are on. We do have to remove all the glue and then sand it back and get it all cleaned up. But that's the next step. We did get the top on, that's gotta be finished. Uh, we tried, started coving. I've still gotta finish all that, neaten everything up, sand it all back. Both front and back decks are on. This is just a temporary thing so I can take her home with me. Other than that, yeah, just a lot of sanding. They, those hatches took forever, we probably, Probably would be finished the boat by now if uh, we didn't have to do all the hatches. Need it to carry all my gear over the next couple of years of fishing and filming, so that should be good. Take a look at the front, looks like a speed demon. Oh, look at that. Give it a thumbs up, Jamie. Woo! Woo! <laughs> pipe, we just cut, trimmed the top off the pipe, gave her a bit of the sand, so that's all finished. That's for the fuel line transducer cable. Rear underwater LED lights. There's that one there, still have to trim, we trim, we trim them out. still got to COVID yeah. first and then oh, okay. we'll cut it by. So I've got a lot to do. The next step would probably be a heap of sanding and, um, and touching up before we start re-coving and puttying all the holes up with, um, with the epoxy. Pretty happy with how far we've come, but we've got a little bit to get through yet. Can't wait. Did smash up my finger and had stuff in my eye today. So that did run out a little bit of a time. See you for day four. That's the last you see to Jamie until until early, until, we, until early January. So the next couple of sessions will be on my own. Watch me stuff up as much stuff as possible <laughs> and then watch Jamie fix it all. See you day four. Signing out, Jamie. Yo.